Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, we have Xbox Nation. Come on, computer, don't lock up. I see you want to lock up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on, CPU, drop down. There we go, down to 65. Nope, now it's 99. Here we go, okay. Here we are, X Xbox Nation, always uh, awesome. We've got a full damn house tonight. We've got Blackie Lebowski. We've got Blazing Phoenix. We've got Mooch. We've got Iron Wolf. And we've got Titanfall Princess here, who is now one of the new badasses in the Xbox community, uh, you know, talking shit and not taking any shit. Uh, you know, welcome to the podcast, everybody. Um, what do you guys think about the community, how it's coming along today, as opposed to, like, say, 2013, pretty much right after uh, the Xbox One was announced and all the hate and stuff it got I me. Mean, what do you guys think about the community now? To me, I think the community is doing really well. I did a video about it the other day. Um, I'm very excited that there's so many positive Xbox people. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really thrilled with how it's going, man. So so what do you guys think just individually how far it's come in just two short years? I'll awesome. start off with that crap. I'd like to start off with that, man, because it's came such a long way. When I first was getting the Xbox one people were really harsh and and there was there was no good positive news about it and immediately I remember seeing the whole TV stuff and this this may sound asinine or you know like maybe you're not a fan of it but even back then I, I understood the importance of the HDMI in and all the stuff and I knew that there were people out there who knew the same thing and and now it, like it's thriving like I believe I don't know how the PlayStation community is like mostly they're in, your crap in your comment section, crap or mine or Wolf's. <laughs> they're they're not doing YouTube channels and growing, uh, but it seems like everybody who's kept it, you know, real and has been, you know, keeping it gaming and, and just and really representing the Xbox, you know, even through all the haters, it's like they're getting a lot of support right now. It's amazing, and like I I love hanging out with you guys. Everybody seems to be really cool too. It's awesome. Yeah, I think I think so too, man. I think that it's been it's been really cool, and and like uh, you know, like I said, next gen. Like I give him a lot of credit. Like people don't understand. They're like, crap. Why you still rock out with next gen? I'm like, well, man, me and next gen are really close, man. Like he was the one that kind of saw the me for me and kind of brought that out, and he was the one that was up there on that you know waving that flag almost solo. You know, nobody was like it on the Xbox yeah. one. You know, so yeah, I agree. I have to say the same thing because like a lot of people here. This is the reason why I started with YouTube. Because I was watching like next gen, I watched Crappy, I watched Blackie, I watched most everybody in here, and I. Phoenix, where, where's your new videos, man? You're two weeks ago, man. Yeah, I need to make some videos. You know, I've been working a lot, so I got I'm gonna get on and make some videos. Yeah, you're, that, keep, you're keeping it 4K though, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, keep it 4K. Yeah, man. like if you're an Xbox owner, make sure you get a 4K TV. They're real cheap right now. I'm telling you, they make your picture look amazing. Especially I was close, man. Right I was close, but the next big thing I gotta get is a new computer. So. I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll deal with 1080p for a little while, and uh, since Xbox One can't do 1080p anyway, 1080p. right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 4K, but... Hey, hey, Mooch, like yeah. you, though, you were just like a fan of the show, right? Like you were Absolutely. a BGST stalker and stuff, and then... Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then I, I we, still, like... I, I've gotten so popular. What I do now is I hang my first pair of binoculars on the wall. They're bronze. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> well, no, well, the I funny, mean... funny story is, though, is that people don't know is you were just a guy that was a fan on Twitter, yeah. and then me and you were like talking and stuff, and then I, we watched two. I watched the 2014 um, E3, Microsoft's E3, and everybody was hating on it. Even Worry Wart, they're like, they left the door open for Sony. They left the door open for Sony. I'm like, no, nah, they killed it, man. It was great. Yeah. And then I was like, nobody wanted to do like the like the little um, thing afterwards, like what we thought. So I was like, man, Mooch was always asking to get in there. I'll get him. And everybody got so worried. They're like, man, did you see crap? He's doing another podcast with that guy, <laughs> some weird guy. <laughs> right. And I was like, you know, that's basically how it kind of started, man. So, I mean, what do you think? It's just like in, in such a short time. Well, here's what's happened. And, and I'm going to actually – this this is great because I'm glad so many people are in the room. Everybody plays a different role. Uh, I think that the people listening to this podcast, I think the people in this panel right now, um, we each kind of bring a different flavor to the Xbox community. Um, some people are there to report the news. Um, some people, like I said, I'm a big fan of Blackie's. He, he uh, Early on in his days, he was doing a lot of the, uh, the economics <laughs> yeah. of, of what the hell was going on and explaining to people what it actually means when you, you get your report, your quarterly reports back. Uh, big fan of Blazin because Blazin 
would go on. A, he he was basically like a 45 minute rant on. He would pick a sub, uh, particular subject, and he could really get deep into it. Of course, we know with Z, Zaire's a very good friend of mine. I always got his back. Um, I'm, he knows all he's got to do is turn around, call on me, and I'll be right there. Uh, you know, I'm old school like that. But Z, Z kind of brought something unique. Uh, Zaire brought entertainment and news at the same time. I mean, there was times he was just like behind his chair and he was holding up the pony, his daughter's toy, and he was like, well, <laughs> time for Zaire to leave YouTube. I'm out of here, folks. Remember he did that whole, like, I'm going to leave? That was a long yeah. time ago. And then, you know, of course, yeah. he just he does a great splash of entertainment. Crap, I really thought of you. I know you joke around and call me your Robin Quivers, but when I first was, uh, a.k.a. Robin stalking Quivers. the show, you were actually Zaire's Robin Quivers because yeah. he would say to you, crap, what's going on in the news? And you'd be like, this is what's happening, and then Zaire would take that and run with it. And I think that, you know, when I joined, I kind of, uh, my, my, the reason I had the, we all have this energy, this, this gusto behind us to, co to pick up and take the baton and run with it. Mine is a little bit more of the, the angst, the anger that, that fuels mine is the bias in the media and the YouTube communities of the Sony side that mask and hide false uh, rumors. They take false uh, headlines and run with it. I'm, I'm here to not, I don't want to use the word exposed, but I'm here to actually take those words, break them down, and show the public just how wrong those people are. And then, you know, you've got, uh, you know, Worry Wart's really funny because Worry, Worry takes a very intellectual uh, level to his, his commentating. He does his coffee cup contemplation. Yeah. It's hysterical, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then you've, of course, got Show. Show's just, there's no way to put it around this. Show is the, he's the Chevy Chase, man. He's the comedic part of the show like his laughter <laughs> the John Belushi. His, yeah he is he's the John Belushi the Chevy Chase he's that old school Saturday Night Live part of the show that you just you can't have the show without him because his laughter is 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 just it's allergic you, you catch it and you're like I, I just you know I, I'm gonna you, you just can't stop laughing once he gets going and, and like I said you take this dynamic and then of course there's Titanfall Princess who's coming in now and and you know she's given a little bit of that, that, that she's given that tough edge that kind of tough edge look and, and saying that from a female perspective you know, I'm here, and this is what I got to say. I'm I'm a big fan, and I just started viewing her channel recently. So I mean, like everyone's kind of bringing a different level and a little bit of their own expertise. You know what I mean to the kitchen yeah. here, and that's why we're the recipe is is just getting more and more in that success column. And, and, and that's remember, kind of and remember, I told you, like, like when you when you upset the status quo, you get a lot of haters. And I warned you. I said, man, you're gonna get a lot of haters. Are you gonna be ready for that? I'm and you're sorry. like, yeah. guys, I'll be right back. Okay. Minute, okay. <laughs> okay. I got something to say, so I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, right. And, and and so I remember um, telling you, I was like, get ready for a lot of the hate, though, because oh, yeah. that's that's going to come in spades, and it gets so bad, I can't even look at my damn comment section anymore. Like, it's just depressing. And I know there, you know what the funny thing is, I know there's really good comments too, um, but it's just like it's such a drag to think that you know, with everything that goes on in the world. That people like take the time to comment so negatively and do yeah. personal attacks yeah. and things like that, especially over something as stupid as video games. I mean, they're video games; they're fun. They're supposed to be. Yeah, that's what I have to say with my comment section. Yeah, I, I see what you, why you did that, and I'll probably end up doing the same yeah. thing too, cause I I have like motherfuckers like be writing essays on my comment section, man. Like you know, pages. Yeah. I, I know. I, I just locked up for a second, but yeah, like, like here we are doing a show over here. Like, you know, there was this big shooting and stuff. Everybody's talking about this stuff, but we're gonna try to make people a little bit happy, entertain them a little bit. It's not that serious when the, you take all things into consideration. And so I just wish that people would like relax a little bit. You know, like it's okay that like I get it. Like some of those guys on those channels. They're WWE fans, right? They they act like <laughs> they are, man. They act like, oh man, we're 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 the heel and they're the the baby face or whatever, you know. And and that's how they act. They just literally act like it's like this big thing. And and you know, we're gonna throw down if we see you at E3, brother. You know you what know, I mean? <laughs> Like, it's not that serious, you know what I'm saying? It's like you got one guy who's been to jail on that side or whatever and grabbing dicks and stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he's trying to be a badass, right? But, dude, you're talking video games. That automatically means that you're not a badass. It's video games. It's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, why do people take this stuff so seriously? And then the people in the comments, man, you guys are, like, doing personal attacks and stuff, and it makes no sense because it's video games. You know what I mean? It's entertainment. 
It's for yeah. fun. You That's know why I, I like mean? the Xbox community. Everybody here is very respectful. I talked to a lot of people here in the party chat on Xbox. Everybody's respectful. You know, we talk about our children and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't have no children, but y'all talk about your children, your family, what goes on your personal life. We just normal people, but it's like Sony fans. I don't know what's wrong with them. They, they, they I, I've weird. never been to any of these guys' channels ever. I've never left a comment on any of their channels, so um, I guess I don't get it. It confirms <laughs> a lot of what we're saying, though. And just real I'm quick, back. though, the rest hey guys, of Guys, just let you know I'm back. Shit, no problem. That shit is funny, man. Y'all remember when Booker T was, like, talking about Hulk Hogan? He said, I'm coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, how, that's how they be in your comment section, man. They be typing that shit. I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> in all honesty, it, it really confirms a lot of what we're saying. I have a, I have a lot of great people who follow me, Crappy2, Blaze, yeah. Uh, Titan Fall Princess, I know that you you're gonna get a good following too, and there there really is just a lot of good people on the Xbox community, and there's a lot of positive um, feedback that I get, and the and the Sony fans, we've been saying it the entire time, and and it's like Mooch was saying, I used to talk about the finances a lot. These things don't come around, but once every year. That's why I don't really talk about it all that much, but. Uh, so they just in a bad position to deliver a really great experience to the consumer. I knew this moving into this generation. Like whenever you haven't made money for so long, whenever you turn things around, that immediate money that you get, it's not going to go to innovation, research and development, and satisfying that consumer. It's going to go to take care of all that shit that you've been building up when you weren't making money. And I knew this yeah. would be the thing with the PlayStation. And you look at it, and and two years in. It is a complete, uh, just 360, uh, you know, no pun intended, with <laughs> the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 as far as where they started and where they're at now. And and people are upset on the PlayStation. And we've told them the network is not as good. There's not a Halo. They, they don't take care of their franchises. The exclusives they have are, they're one and done. You, you know, you hit it and quit it like Blaze and Phoenix says. You know, <laughs> And, and they're in your comment section, and they're hateful, and, and they're bitter, and, and they spite you because of this. If they had a system that they really enjoyed, they really loved, they had all their games, they wouldn't give a flying fuck about what Crack Gamer said, I say, next year, they wouldn't care. And Titanfall Princess, I don't think we've let you speak yet, so. Yeah, go ahead and gonna... give, give your take, Titanfall Princess. Well, first of all, first of all, Sony copies everything, <laughs> and yeah. which is the truth. And yeah. the one thing I want to bring is the perspective of, of, of a woman gamer. I'm a serious woman gamer, and no, no offense to you guys, but uh, I don't think we get enough credit. And that's why I decided to do my videos. Well, you know, I think that that's cool. I mean, what do you think about the Xbox community, um, how far it's come in, in a short time? Because I know that you're kind of well-versed with the community and the YouTube community. So, I mean, what, what's your take on that? Well, I think there's a lot more Xbox gamers, but um, I think it's worse if you look at it. Um, just look at IGN and GameSpot and all, and all of them and, and how they act in, from, in the last two years against Xbox. There's so much bias. I can't believe how much bias there is against the Xbox in the last two years since the Xbox One came out. Yeah, well, what do you think, like, like I get this a lot, I'll say that the Xbox One is, you know, people are, media is biased against it, and people will be like, well, where's the proof? You know, where's the proof? <laughs> like, like well, that's just listen to them. They put Sony on top. They say they got all this. Sony's system sucks. They would they have maybe four uh, four games that are exclusives. Yeah. And once you're done with them, what do they do? Sit around twiddling their thumbs? They're playing. <laughs> they're they're playing rock honestly, rock. look how many we got. And they put us down like our games are crap. Yeah, and they're well, not. <laughs> well, here's the thing. They they move the goalposts, right? If a game's yeah. on Xbox One and PC, it's not an exclusive. Yet, if it's on PS4 and PC, it's still an exclusive. So, well, again, they, crap, they let move... me give two examples because you asked a question. You said, how is it that we can tell that, that, that Sony is doing what they're doing and, and where's the proof? Well, let me give some proof. The media comes out all week and all they keep talking about is PSX. Well, listen, this is, not, this is nothing I'm going to say that, that's conspiracy theory. This is all factual. We've gone through two E3s. At E3, it's the biggest show on earth. It's when every camera is on center stage. We know it's coming on both consoles next year for the most part. Yeah, there may be a small title here or there, but it's nothing major. Tell me this. What in the world is everybody so excited for in the media about PSX that they wouldn't have shown at E3 and that they neglected to show up for Gamescom? 
Yeah. Nothing, right? Okay, so there's one. Number two, here's another bias point. The second, the absolute very second that Soccer Cars hits Xbox One, it's dead. Nobody will talk about it anymore. The media is dead with it. They'll be like, what, that game? Oh, it's like four or five months old. What are you talking about? It's another. <laughs> these are just small innuendos to where it burns a little fire in the Xbox community, and a lot of people don't seem to understand that. And they're like, well, like it, think about somebody you know at your work or your school, and you're like, that person's an asshole. And someone's like, well, what's the proof? I don't know what the proof is. How about the look on his face, the way he doesn't walk right, he's fucking he's sluggish. Every time you say something, he says the opposite. I don't know. I don't have real proof. He's just an asshole. You know what I hey, mean? The yeah. media is an asshole. Mooch, Mooch, did you see this thing? IGN, look, IGN tweeted out this picture, right, Mooch? Like, did you ever see that? It was a picture. It's like, get your the best Black Friday deals, right? There was a PS4, a Wii U, a Vita, and then behind the PS4 was, like, the Xbox One. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Really? Really? Come on, man. They're not even hiding. People look at me like I'm crazy. Not only that, but the haters are out against us. Like like the other day, someone was tweeting me that has no followers, right? Brand new sock puppet account. They're like they're like they're like Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg, uh, Platinum Games, and that Kamiya guy or whatever, right? Yeah. They're like they're like, this is the disgusting people in the Xbox community. You should avoid them. And it's like, I'm the only person in this tweet, and I look at this link to this video that's in this tweet, and it's a Blackie Lebowski video. I'm like, that's <laughs> not even me. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like these people will sit there and try to tank you, the, like, like what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. you know. And then they'll sit there and try to reiterate the fact that nobody uh, from Xbox gives a shit about us or does anything with us. I'll tell you right now, like people like Southbound, Worry Ward. These guys play with Phil Spencer. Tim Dog. They game with Phil Spencer. They message Phil Spencer. I've messaged Phil Spencer. I've interacted with him and Eric Greenberg. So I think that it's a little bit maybe wishful thinking for the haters to think that they don't. Just I because just think, Sony's don't. I just think it's a lot of jealousy. Sorry to interrupt. I just think it's a lot of jealousy because, like, you know, all the Sony execs, they don't really interact with the Sony fans like yeah. the way. You they know, Phil and Aaron. Good yeah, point. they don't care about them. You know, they probably just ignore their tweets and everything. And they just use them. But really, mm -hmm. would you want a game with people that look like Mark Cerny and stuff? Like, he, he looks creepy. <laughs> <laughs> right? I wouldn't want a game with guys like that. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a weirdo, man. Yeah, like I said, like, but that's funny, though, because <laughs> they keep tagging Xbox gamers, and they keep talking about Xbox is trash, yet they never talk about why PlayStation is great. You know, all these tweets they be sending crap, and they be sending a warrior and everybody. Why don't they ever say why they like the PlayStation? They just say Xbox sucks, PlayStation better. And you ask them why, they say, uh, it just sucks. They never say, oh, PlayStation has great exclusives. <laughs> it has a, PlayStation has an elite controller. They never say anything great. Play, a PSN is a great network. They never tell us why. They just I say, agree. I'm getting the same. I agree. I'm getting the same thing. But, dude, this is the worst, though. It's like what Titanfall Princess was just saying. The double standards. I was reading an article earlier, and and it's PS2 backwards compatibility. Like, <laughs> they, like, come on, they they fucking Microsoft announces it, and then Sony literally says it doesn't matter, and then everybody gets backwards compatibility. Uh, they have an awesome commercial with Martin Starr, the dude from uh, Silicon Valley. That was hilarious. They <laughs> yeah. Absolutely knock it out of the yeah. park with it. And now they want to talk about this PS2 backwards compatibility. This is my problem with it. On the PS3, if you really think about it, they had a store with PS1 and PS2 games. Where are these at? This is supposed to be the most powerful console for the players, the greatest thing ever in history. Where the fuck is this shit at? Because it's sure as hell not the new UI or Snap functions or, you know, online notifications for when your friends jump on. That's, that's sure as shit... The resources aren't going there, so to me, it's just it's an outrageous fucking. Scene. Hey, Blackie, Blackie, let me ask you a question. Let me yeah. give you a scenario. Let's just flip the script for a second here. Let's put the, let's put things in perspective for the audience. Let's say this holiday season, Uncharted Four, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Gran Turismo was being released for PlayStation Four, and the Xbox was getting Gears of War Ultimate Edition. What yep. would what would that fiery little blonde at IGN be running around the fucking office uh, for the fix show? Be running around saying, which, "What? I mean, do you understand the backlash that Microsoft would get? They're clearly going to fold. This is not what Microsoft is going to do. We can't. They can't sustain this way. They're already ten million consoles behind. Somebody light Microsoft on fire. Like, literally, it would be a nightmare. But yet, 
it's the same thing, just mirrored. The only thing out for Sony from their own company, two and a half years into the generation, don't tell me you didn't know this was coming, is Uncharted Collection? That's all you have? That'd be cool. Oh, it pissed me know. off, man. They were talking about uh, we got a God of War on PS2, and I'm thinking, where the fuck is the God of War for PS4, man? Yeah. I'm sorry, Lance. Go ahead. It's, did Mark Cerny not tell somebody that the console was coming out in 2013? Did everybody just fall asleep? <laughs> You're like, oh shit, we didn't make fucking God of War 4. What have you been doing, fat princess? <laughs> yeah, but I think. I, I think mean, Sony's going towards like the Wii. Like they're gonna be more like the Wii because they, you can see it. They're not focused on triple A's anymore. They're gonna be yeah. more Wii like. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that may be. I, here's what I don't understand. You can't. I hate to have, say, but we, we, Wii's even got more exclusives than they do. Yeah. The Wii U, the Wii U actually does. I mean, I, I've actually bought more Wii U games this year than PS4 games. That's true. So, I mean, look. I mean, look. Mario, Mario Maker, or Splatoon. That's a. Those are killer apps. For a Wii, you know what I'm saying? Like, who hasn't wanted to build their own Mario levels and stuff, or or Splatoon? That is a really fun game. Like, I know it might might not be like everybody's cup of tea, but it's something new that people keep saying. Nintendo doesn't do anything new, so they come out with a multiplayer game. Yeah, they should have hey, some kind of party crap, chat. If, I, if I'm taking this conversation the wrong way, you just tell me. But are you guys feeling that something's going to be announced either at the games, the Game Awards, or something probably before the Kojima. end of the year? Yeah, there's a Kojima. lot of rumors floating. I mean, nothing's concrete. It's nothing to light a match and stomp your foot about. But, I mean, is there is there anybody that's kind of feeling these things? Is maybe there's something to the Kojima rumor, a little bit more following on the AMD stuff? Um, I, I don't know. I just I, there's There seems to be something that's going to be breaking. Uh, is there any news crap? Have you heard well, I, I, I just read I, I, My instincts is telling me that there's going to be a, an announcement I, I just read announce. something about it saying that everything's going to be known in the next few days. So, um, yeah, I think that there might be something up. He, I know he's still in Japan. Silent Hill? I maybe. I mean, there was where there's smoke, there's fire, It'd be right? Nice if Bell brought a Japanese man out on stage, but he didn't have to beg. He actually gave him a check. Hey, check this out, right? Okay, the guy who, who broke that, <laughs> you guys remember the guy who broke that rumor to begin with that he was going to be at E3 or whatever it was, right? Yeah, I'm talking about Silent Hills. Yeah, yeah, about Silent Hills, right? Yeah, exactly. That guy, he was the one that he was the same guy who who said that uh, Tomb Raider would be a year timed exclusive, right on the money. It ended up being right. He also was the one that broke that um, Dark Souls Three was being made. Yeah. So there's a chance that th they just needed something more uh, to show, or you know what I mean, like or there was contracts or whatever, because now Kojima. Officially doesn't work for Konami, you know what I mean? He's he's and, done. And he publicly came out about two weeks ago with that tweet that was him flipping the bird to Konami and shit like yeah. that. I mean, you don't usually do. Listen, what do you not do, Wolf? You know this. You were pretty pretty vocal about how how, how you got a great job recently and, and congratulations. But um, but like, but in all honesty, you don't leave your job unless you got a solid one yeah. to land in. So why would Kojima be like, you know, middle finger and F you Konami and blah, 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 blah. You know why? He just got a fucking Cuban cigar and a huge leather chair to roll around in at Microsoft <laughs> Studio. Did Microsoft hire him? Yeah, he definitely, got a, he definitely got a contract somewhere. Yeah, that's a game changer. changer. Yeah, that's a lot of potential right there. You could, A lot of people can hate on Metal Gear, but it's a pretty good game. And I say he can make some good stuff. Yeah, I'm just speculating. I mean, it's it's a stretch, guys. You know, I mean, you gotta be careful. You have to just we're on the internet here, so yeah. it's almost like truth serum under a hot light. No, my my. Do you know what? I just think that Kojima, he should just work on Shanghai, that the coalition yeah, like was working that. on, and complete it, because that was eighty per, that was eighty percent complete. That would be great. So That'd if you get this man working on his game with this team, and finish this game off, this game could be amazing. Yeah, that could be Microsoft Metal Gear killer. It could be, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jamie Moran, you just asked me on Twitter what's the uh, – you were gone for a moment. What's the rumor? The rumor is that Kojima and Silent Hills um, will be at the Game Awards, uh, and they're going to announce some kind of partnership, or maybe Microsoft bought them out or bought the rights. Um, we know that Konami has no money, and they want to <laughs> get out. Of, they want to get out of the game market. So uh, that that makes sense to me. Uh, what do you guys think? Like, there is going to be some Quantum Break stuff there. But, like, yeah. it doesn't seem like there's a could lot I, of Microsoft presence could I, there. Back, could I just go I'll, back to Konami for, for just one second? Um, the further guys, proof I'm sorry, Konami, but I'll be right back again. No problem. No, no, right. no, but further proof that Konami doesn't want to take part, you know, in the console space is that, you know, 
Pez, especially the AAA space, is Pez uh, Pro Evolution Soccer. That is going to be a free to play game. Oh man. Yeah, so they're is not going to be that making was, any That was pretty game. much their only AAA game left anymore, though, you know, right? You yeah. know that game had potential. Might so buy that, Pez, and give it to 2K. They can make a good soccer game with that. Imagine Mike's an exclusive soccer game. I've seen some big, some big arguments on Twitter today going back for people that want Microsoft to make a baseball game. <laughs> I'd rather have the uh, football game. I rather, I wish that Joe Montana was real. Here's the thing. Listen, I, 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 I was involved in a part of that until I had to, I had to get out of that because it was putting me into a coma. So, like, <laughs> literally, um, <laughs> that was awful. But, like, literally, here's the point behind the baseball. I, I don't know if you're going to find a bigger baseball fan than me. Like, first of all, I'm a Mets fan. If you don't think that takes a lot of fucking effort, just try it. And, uh, you know, I watch about 150 out of 162 games. Uh, I don't watch all nine innings. You know, uh, that's not what baseball is all about. I get a lot of paperwork done that's in the background. If you've ever seen A Few Good Men with Tom Cruise, he's a, ba he's a supposed baseball fan in that. He does a lot of his wall room shit while he's carrying a bat around. He thinks a lot about baseball games around. That's what baseball is. Baseball is background music. It is extremely difficult to play a season of baseball, okay, no matter how yeah. you abbreviate it on a console or you have to sit there and you have the four pictures you can pick from from your buttons and then you push left or right on the D-pad to like swivel it one way or the other. They're super then, complicated nowadays to be honest. They're, they're yeah. super complicated, but beyond that, they're super boring. Okay, yeah. listen, I defend baseball all the time and all my friends are football and basketball fans. People are like, yo, it's showtime, NBA is everything. And if you don't believe me, look at sales. Madden and NBA 2K16 are what sell right now. The show yeah. gets stomped on by those two titles. Stomped yeah. on. So, listen, I, it's not that I don't – in the argument today, crap, let me just explain for the audience. The argument that went on was it's just better to have an, a Major League Baseball game on your system to better your brand. Now, is that an argument you can make? Absolutely. But couldn't you make that in almost anything? We should probably have a Bobby Flay video game too. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's always a different genre that wants to jump in head first. Yeah, but well, I believe it's a boring game. I believe, like, you know, baseball, you know, in video game form, it's a niche game. Like, you it know, is. even the show, it don't even sell. Like, nobody no, has that game. Apparently, it breaks even at best. Well, every year, Sony shut down the servers every time yeah, a new true. game dropped. So, But Microsoft could get those two games exclusive. I think that would be a killer. Imagine they had an exclusive football game and an exclusive soccer game. But I think they could kill with that. I don't know if they would do it, but I have one of those would be a big hit. Like yeah. NFL fever and that kind of stuff, but I don't think it's going to work. They don't really need to, you know, um, 2K and live, you know, they have it on rap. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you know what, Phil's kind of a straight shooter. He said already that it doesn't make sense. I wish that they would go to EA and bring, because EA actually owns the rights to, like, High Heat or Bases Loaded or oh, one of those damn um, baseball games or 2K. The reason why 2K stopped making baseball games was because nobody was buying them and the license is so expensive yeah. to do the multi-platform stuff, right? So uh, maybe in a, maybe they'll come back and do another one. I have no idea, but I think it would be cool to have the option, but I honestly don't want Microsoft wasting talent of a studio and money for something that's really going to probably be a niche product. And, yeah. uh, but you I know. want that football game, though. Dude, that football game would have been sweet. We all got trolls yeah, on that, man. Oh, my too. gosh, did I ever get trolled. I was making so man, many me, videos. Dude, me, me and Zaire were sitting there doing video after video. We did a video on his channel, then we hopped in a, a, and did one on my channel, dude. It was, like, funny. <laughs> like, uh, you know, just, oh, my gosh, I wanted something a little bit different than Madden. I love the 2K game. Yeah. Just, I thought they were freaking fantastic. I, that, you know, I, I love them so much. And, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited to um, – you know what? I wish that, that, that they would stop with that – Exclusive deal. I don't know how to get around that, but yeah. I uh, I hope that they do. Uh, big news, Mooch. Soccer Cars is listed as coming to Xbox One. Oh, huge news because me yeah. and you were already challenged to a match. Yeah, you were challenged to a match. Listen, let, you know, I I'm on record as saying this. My very first video I ever made on YouTube was about soccer cars. I <laughs> it's probably, my, probably my best video. Uh, you know, listen, I'll be honest with you. This is a game that is fun, okay? I'm not going to take that away from somebody. How am I to tell you what's fun or not fun? That's improper of me. It doesn't make any sense. However, what I can tell you is this. Ori in the Blind Forest, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare. Uh, the list goes on and on. I don't care what you want to pick. Just pick anything in the world that's come out. How about Trials uh, Evolution or Trials Fusion, whatever came out recently? Oh, that game fun. Games, exactly. Any of these games that have come out, they were out, 
They were discussed for seven days. Maybe there was a DLC that came out a short time after. It was then brought up for two or three more days. This is every week this asshole developer of, of Rocket League, a.k.a. soccer cars, keeps on making a different car or he makes the ground blue or something <laughs> stupid. And somehow, somehow this is Main Street news. It's like Wall Street is going to have this son of a bitch ring the bell next week. I don't understand what the yeah, fuck I remember the DeLorean as well. The yeah, the DeLorean. They had a pumpkin for Halloween. They did oh, something. Else. They got an Ice Age. Listen, this, what the fuck? It's RC Pro-Am with a fucking soccer ball. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what is this? What are we talking about? Look, at, I'm done arguing with people on Twitter. It is fun. Enjoy it. But do me a personal favor. Keep it to yourself. Nobody cares. It's an indie. Why aren't we talking about guacamole? Why aren't we talking about anything else? How about Super Time Force? How about Qbert? What the fuck? I don't understand. <laughs> dude, well, did you see that? The, the yeah. dude from the Xbox Mafia, what's his name? Mario. Uh, cool dude. Yeah. He um he's like, yeah, there's there's some cool games on PS4. Uh, Rezo Gun and 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 Rocket Cars or whatever the hell that is, you know. <laughs> well, crap. so I'm like, yeah. Crap. Go ahead. If there, so, if there are so many good games on Sony. Why are those motherfuckers on all of our channels instead of playing games all night long? I don't know. I had this one Sony Pony, Wakey or Drain Your Soul or whatever his name is. On <laughs> He was like, man, those sales are bad on Tomb Raider. And I'm like, dude, go home. You're drunk because you're talking to me about sales because there ain't shit to play on PS4 tonight. So, you know what I mean? Keep on walking. It's I'm like when getting, people – go ahead. I'm getting my comments at, you know, when I look at the next day. Four, five, six o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. Aren't you? You got to suit up. Sleeping? You got to suit yeah. up. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't really care. I don't really care because you know what? As the old saying goes, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. So you can say whatever you want. <laughs> you, Yo, you really can. Sure. I don't you really care. Train your soul at 5.30 a.m., man, in your comment section. That is some real shit, man. That's a weirdo, though. That's, that's a weirdo that shit. Is, you do not have... Uh, you don't have no fucking games for your console, man. You, I don't know what you're doing. That, it, it goes beyond that. You don't have a fucking life, yo. Exactly. Yeah, but, <laughs> but Sony you talk about they, they don't buy their own games. Then Yoshi they, was Yoshi also um, Uncharted. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I had someone send me a thing saying that the Uncharted collection sold saw a 999% increase due to Black Friday sales or whatever. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, what do you think about this? I said, I think a lot of people just spent $300 on a new console to play last-gen games. You know what I mean? It's sad. Like, the whole the whole remake thing, like, has, has gotten out of control, and that's mostly on Sony's part. It's like Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, The Uncharted Collection, God of War 3. You know what I mean? It's like all these games... Uh, why? Like that's what, what I would ask. Why? That Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain? A both of those sixty dollars? Or those come together? I think that they're sixty dollars or fifty dollars a piece or something like oh, that. Oh, that's horrible. I thought it was a pack. I thought it was both of them. Oh, well, one of them. Come back and get them in the end, man, because you have so many people who they they're not anticipating this. They didn't buy a PS4 for this, man. A lot of people really were expecting something different at the beginning of this generation, and now. I, I don't know, man. With the new Xbox experience, the Elite Controller, Halo, Tomb Raider, Forza, Scalebound, Crackdown, like, when you start really listing off everything that's going on, and you look over there, and you look at some of the community members, and and I, I really want the Ratchet and Clank game, right? That, I really love Ratchet and Clank. And if you watch the YouTube video of the new Ratchet and Clank game on PS4, and it's a $40 game. It's not even a full-fledged game. These people are saying it's the death of Halo and shit. Like, they, they've lost their mind. Like, <laughs> How the like, hell is that the death of they Halo? Crazy. Dude, they gotta be crazy. Man. They've lost their minds, man, because last generation I played Ratchet and Clank. I was on the PlayStation 3, and as much as I love Tools of Destruction and A Crack in Time, this, these were not, like, fucking Halo games. Like, they were good games. It's Insomniac Games who makes it. But whenever, whenever your shit is so bad... That you you put up a fucking you say Ratchet and Clank and try to put that with Halo like something. <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. I, I agree with that. They have exclusives that could compete with Halo. Maybe only God of War. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but you know, I saw that uh, Uncharted 4 multiplayer footage and it looked like a PS3 game. Yeah. I found it overwhelming and it looked washed out and clunky. The character animations look like dog shit. And Microsoft, they're releasing Quantum Break at the right time. When Uncharted 4 releases, 
that's when Microsoft are going to go all out on the marketing. And it will eclipse, like Quantum Break will eclipse Uncharted 4. And, you know, I mean, it will kill down the small hype that they got, you know what I'm saying? It really would, because it's only a two week (laughs) difference, you know what I'm saying? So when Uncharted drops, that's when you're going to see all the commercials for Quantum Break. Well, well, hey, do you guys feel like it's a little bit ironic, right? You buy the Uncharted collection, and there's no multiplayer, but the perk of yeah. buying that collection is you get to play in the multiplayer beta for the next Uncharted. It's like they're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to make the multiplayer relevant, but then they took it away from the collection. You know what I mean? It's like, which is it? I wish they would make up their mind. Is it trying to be, you know, trying to compete with Gears? You know, because that multiplayer has never been super strong. It's been okay, but it's never been really great. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I mean, what's the deal? Like, they, they, they're giving you all these remakes, and then they're stripping out gameplay from it. Like, to me, it never made any sense. Yeah. 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 Can, I ask you guys, can I ask you guys a question? Shoot. You know I'm the Titanfall princess, but you guys have not once tonight mentioned Titanfall. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, because I've been so... <laughs> I, think, I think I've been busy playing Battlefront and, uh, and Halo... That's right, Titanfall 2, Xbox exclusive. Yeah, did you guys see... Uh, bro, let's, let's, let's talk about Titanfall for a second, actually, Princess. I'm glad you brought it up. There was a uh, tweet that came out. Somebody hit me up uh, personally, and then it, it, it spread like fi- wildfire yesterday. Uh, I did retweet it. There was uh, an EA survey that went around. Okay. Where would you like to see these titles? Did you guys see this? Not no, any. I didn't. Was well, there was, there was a list of games all the way down the left-hand side, and then there was a bunch of checkboxes on the right-hand side and the platforms listed underneath. And for some of them, you know, if they were exclusive to a certain uh, brand or platform, the box was not present to check. It was done digitally. And it was very interesting. Titanfall 2, when you went to go check what you, your preferred console, what it would be, the Xbox One, the Xbox 360... And the um, PC, PC was the only the PS4 had no box to check, That's and that was interesting. Me. Well, well mean, when, they, when they said Titanfall 2, they said it'll be on multiple platforms. That doesn't mean consoles. No, you it know, doesn't. It could, it could just be PC and Xbox One. And it unlike looks- Crystal Dynamics, who put their foot in their mouth, yeah, uh, maybe these people over at Respawn are a little bit more intelligent, and they said, "Listen, it'll be on multiple platforms." All that does is provide one massive word. For the Sony ponies, it provides hope. Yeah, provides <laughs> hope. they ain't getting no hope because we're gonna secure Titanfall. Yeah, well, I think, yeah. I think yeah. Phil's been locked it down. Yeah, and I feel he's gotta make amends for Street Fighter Five. So Titanfall Two, I'll take that. Yeah, I'm telling you, this game will be horrible if it's multiplayer. Because if we had to sacrifice the dedicated servers, I think the buttery smooth gameplay will suffer. I couldn't. No parody, right? No parody. Yeah. So. Or, or, or you'll just get a you'll just get a game that's run on EA servers oh, and not God. have like like the AI logic and things like that. Like to me, uh, what made Titanfall so good was that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I just think that uh, you know it would be a mis- it would be a step back to uh, to to kind of put that on both platforms and then take away the Azure servers. So uh, well, I'm not gonna uh, tell. Well, I'm not gonna say who exactly it is. I'll probably tell you behind the scenes. But somebody told me that you know, Timefall Two is gonna be running on the Unreal Engine Four, and uh, I hope this guy is right because if yeah, it is, crazy. then that game's gonna look. Am- it's gonna look amazing. Why would they switch it up though? I mean, would they be? You think they'd be able to put it out so quickly? Um, it's well, because well, it's, but basically, um, there was reports that this game is not going to drop until 2017. Okay. 2016 is when they're going to announce it at E3, but March 2017, that's when the game's going to drop. So, hey, crap, think about it. If it goes on a Unreal Engine 4, it's also got a possibility of being a DX12 item, and if oh, it is, man. that's an easy convergent. They can convert that much more, you know, it could be simpler to make it. It's not a huge jump moving from one engine to the other, possibly. I don't yeah. know how that plays a role yeah. or not. I'm, and I'm and it could easily yeah. point from Xbox to PC. I, I just think the important thing is what Blaze really hit a, a really steady heartbeat right there. You, you've got to understand something. It, I played, I'm going to get the number for, for Titanfall Princess just so I can prove my worth. I played a lot of Titanfall, and I'll tell you right now, personally, that game without the servers that Microsoft has been has been taking care of this game, like baby cradling this game, you take that away and put this thing on a peer-to-peer or on something shitty uh, yeah. like EA servers, 
the game can't sustain itself. And Vince Zappella is already on record saying, if you liked what we were doing before, wait till you see the technology we have coming now. You really can't make that comment because if you were to go on EA servers or peer-to-peer, -peer, you'd have to take stuff away, not add to it. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just trying to be a detective here. Uh, I'm not trying to get false hope raised in the Xbox community. But you look at the, the, the signals. Here's the signals. You had that survey that came out the other day. You had Phil wearing the shirt that, that uh, had Forza, Halo, Gears, and the Titanfall Atlas on there. Yeah. You have um, you know, the, the words of Vince Zappella coming out saying we're going to do more. Well, we already know that they were using part of the cloud for the grunts and et cetera. If you're going to do more technology, you can't go to peer-to-peer -to -peer or use a simplistic EA server. So you just start adding everything up. You know, and then if you want to go one step further, what Wolf has said, uh, I don't know if it's come to fruition or not, but Phil did promise something for Street Fighter V. I don't know if all that adds up, but it really does look – and and this was my sales pitch. This is the Mooch's part, Okay. It's already on PC. It's already in everybody's home. Microsoft did not let Titanfall go quietly into the night. Yeah. They kept on putting it everywhere. It's in the A Access. They I just bought it digitally yeah. two weeks ago for five dollars. The entire deluxe it. package. So they're letting everybody get this in their home. They're letting Sony fans want it more and more. Microsoft's been looking for something to be cross-platform. They've got something here, and it's already a household name. This is no longer a new IP that they have to worry about. Titanfall is already a household name. Ponies want it, and Xbox fans want to keep it. So this is a very good place for Phil to spend his money. It makes a lot they of sense. They can't yeah. have it. Yeah. <laughs> and there's I, that. I even, told, I even told Phil Spencer in one of my videos that he's got to secure that. He even tweeted me back a happy Thanksgiving after that and everything. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, look, if he's smart, and I think he does. I'm not sure, like, how much he listens or whatever, but I... I hope that he does realize it because, look, you know what would be the ultimate slap in the face since Sony does all these marketing deals? If fucking Sony got the marketing deals for that game, could you imagine? I mean, I'd yeah. have to bury my goddamn head in I, the sand. I can't see that. That's a really great point you made, crap, but I if, I just can't see them letting that one go. I just can't. Yeah, especially if they got like Call of Duty. That could be the gears of this generation when it comes down to, you know, sellers and success. Overall, yeah. that's what I was thinking too. You know what though? Just imagine if that game had launched how it is now, uh, yeah, when yeah, it originally better. launched. Because I remember there was no private lobbies. You know, there was some issues with it. It was a really good game, but in my opinion, it needed maybe some kind of stronger campaign and more guns. Uh, yeah, more guns, stronger campaign. Uh, like some of the challenges to level up were just ridiculous. The goose <laughs> yeah. challenge or whatever, like kill all those people. Originally, you had to kill all those people. Um, they needed some new titans. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, it wasn't perfect, uh, but I, I think that it was. It's still the smoothest first-person shooter I think that I played on the Xbox One. Yeah. So but that'd I mean, be crazy. Though. Imagine having Gears, Titanfall, and Halo on one console. That'd be crazy. You do well, have Halo. Yeah, you do. <laughs> that'd be like permanent, like you know, because it's up in the air. Because you know, yeah. it's I honestly, Blaze, man, I honestly think that uh, they're gonna secure it. I have a friend who's, you know, she's comes over and stuff, and she was uh, watching me play Tomb Raider, and and she was like, you're, you're playing this on Xbox, and I guess she just remembers back in the day, because a lot of people have forgotten how far Sony's fell, fell off, man. Tomb Raider, that was, that was a fucking PlayStation, that's a PlayStation game, you know, for the longest time, and, you know, I'm playing this beautiful, amazing game, and it's exclusive, fuck if it's going out on the PlayStation 4 next year, nobody's gonna give a fuck. But the fact is, if Microsoft can do that, then you're not getting no fucking Titanfall. They've invested whatever they've already done as far as the cloud servers and stuff. Yeah. They're, Sony will not get this shit. Like, Sony, they're some assholes, dude. They're talking shit uh, because, uh, what was it, the Tomb Raider didn't sell so as, as much as whatever in the <laughs> yeah. UK. I mean, it's like every chance they get that, you know, they want to they wanna mouth off and they're really doing the consumer bad. Like, just the other day, I seen a, a video from the Red Dragon. Like, Sony's customer service, they're telling people to do this shit with the bank, and at the end of the day, they're just fucking getting ripped off because they got hacked. Like, there, there's some real problems, and and there is no DVD player or Blu-ray player or CD player in this fucking PS4 to save this bitch. And people are all, oh, 30 million sold and shit. I'm telling you, man. This shit is about to Titanfall. 
That shit wouldn't help. It. This it's really about to slow down. No, Blackie, I just Blackie, I just think it's just a matter of a trade off with the whole Call of Duty thing because you know Phil he didn't want to continue the Call of Duty thing and he dropped it completely. So I guess with this trade off, he could be using all that money onto Timefall. You know what I'm saying? It will make more sense to me anyway. And I I really hope I really want him to have Timefall too. And yeah. you know, keep it as Xbox and PC. I don't want them to have it on a 360. Hell no. Yeah. It uh, if it's Unreal Engine 4, it's definitely not going to be on a 360 unless they use, you know, yeah. the Unreal Engine 3. But that's a whole other thing. But you know, Unreal Engine 4, to... DX12, the power of the cloud. Keep it all under one ecosystem. Oh, but the power of the cloud's not real. It's right? not real. Come on. Yeah, hey, but just, just keep it on the one. Just keep it on the one ecosystem. Yeah, and Xbox One and, and and Windows, right, or PC. That's, right. That's it, man. Hey, why not do some kind of deal what they're doing with Crackdown, man? Do some destruction in there. You know what I'm saying? That's with some crazy, PC. man. Hell, it's online only anyway, right? So you could have like complete destruction in that game. Like that's what they should do. Like you know, drop and, a Titan on a building or some shit, man. Crazy. Insane. Hell yeah, that's Vortex me, shield up. Ball. <laughs> and I want to do in my comment section. Uh, we have more people listening, and I want and they agreed with what we were saying about Titanfall. So I want to do a quick shout out um, to Mighty Dog. What up, there Mighty Dog? Couple, and a, there was somebody else. Who is it? Let me look at my list here. Um, Damn, you got another dog. <laughs> yeah. There, there was two more, two more new people, and they were uh, commenting. They were actually listening. Uh, Tiger Man six six six. They like me. They really. What like up, me. Tiger Man? And what actually show, else did, uh, so that's why I wanted to do a shout out. So yeah, Z we also got Tony the Tiger. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's back to the Titanfall thing. Like with the Xbox One, I have had the most fun this generation. You know, being in a party all night playing Halo Five, the Gears War Ultimate. It's just the community is better. And when you have a fun community playing games together, it makes the games more enjoyable. So that's another thing Microsoft should start um, doing more commercials with like the, a bunch of people screaming together playing Xbox Live. They need to get more of the Xbox Live commercials out there. Yeah, you know what? I agree. Like they did one last year. I remember it was like uh, more fun with gold or whatever. And I like what they're doing with the gold stuff. I've actually been seeing a lot more Xbox commercials associated with Fallout 4. I've yeah. been seeing a lot of Tomb Raider commercials. Um, you know what I mean? I've seen Rock Band commercials with the little Xbox logo or whatever. So I think they're doing a good job with that. But I do think that it was a good move dropping the Call of Duty stuff since it ended up what selling better on Xbox anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So so that was smart um, because it's already associated with the brand and use that money to lock down Titanfall because it's probably going to cost you fifty million to do so. And uh, I think that it makes it makes a lot of sense though. Like I know EA uh, probably. You know, they might. Who knows? They would maybe rather sell a little bit more and have it on multiple platforms. But money's money. Yeah. You know. I think. I'm guys. Only chance would buy it anyway, though. Yeah. But yeah. Microsoft, go ahead. Microsoft. Hey guys. Have, I'm yes. Just, Listen, I'm sorry, but I I have something I have to take care of. If you're still on a little in a little while, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, no Some, something just came up, but thank you for inviting me. I had a blast. Um. Still a little hey, nervous, but I, I think I did pretty good for my yeah, first you time. Did good. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know what? You have your own channel. Like, uh, so what's the name of your channel? It's Titanfall Princess. Yeah, Titanfall, Titanfall Princess. Princess. What else do you think? Okay. It's a Titanfall Princess. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they can go subscribe to you, and you know your your videos are pretty in your face, and uh, and so good luck. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. No problem. No. Have a good night, everybody. Have you a good too. night. Keep, keep it Xbox. Keep, keep it Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Keep it 4K. And keep it 100. Yeah, keep it 4K. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I think that it will be smart to lock this down, and, and I think maybe announce it at um, E3 next year, or maybe oh, a little man. bit more. Uh, but you know what? I also think that Microsoft is going to do their own little Xbox 15-year anniversary thing next year. I would you know love I mean? to see that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do you think they'll they'll save something big to announce for that? Well, Phil did retweet my tweet, so I think some definitely going down because I actually suggested that in the tweet that a 15th year anniversary thing will be cool, and he retweeted that. So, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta read between the lines, right? So it's pretty obvious that you know it's gonna happen. Yeah. Over the 15th anniversary, bring back some OG Xbox games. 
Yeah, that's yeah, what they'll, I, I, they'll I probably think that's revive Phantom happen. Dust. They'll probably revive that by then. So, uh, who knows? Hey, I forgot all about Phantom Dust. <laughs> that's our last Guardian there. Yeah, vaporware. Oh, Come man. on, don't compare that to last <laughs> Guardian. It's only been like, it's yeah, to be, I like that last game, Guardian's though. been like nine years, yo. I'm hey, that game, man. hey, did you guys see that damn uh, article? All right, Jamie Moran sent this out. And Mooch, you've been quiet, so I don't know if you've seen this from uh, Segment Next, right? Yep, it, okay, and it says Uncharted Four will have the best multiplayer ever, and it's not question <laughs> mark; it's a statement. God. It says Uncharted Four will have the best multiplayer ever. Can you say they had eight maps? I eight maps and uh, and at uh, 900p. Oh, you know man, what I mean? Man, man. <laughs> 5v5. No dedicated I mean, service. Hold on. That's a quite the bold statement. Uncharted 4 will have the best multiplayer ever. Okay, sorry Halo. Sorry Year Gears. Four. Sorry Call of Duty and Battlefront and Battlefield. You don't have the best multiplayer. This is a game that's not even Uncharted. known for it. It's not even known for its multiplayer. That's, a, that's the most ridiculous statement ever. That's like go to McDonald's and try out their Frosty. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I mean, what... The best frosty I've ever had in my life. No, I mean this, it, this is this is what we're talking about. This is a great, you know, shout out to Jamie Moran for for throwing these out. By the way, Jamie Moran has put so many fucking funny memes and, and gifts. Up oh, to I me. love them, dude. Fucking, the reason I'm quiet is I've had to mute my mic to fucking laugh. I'm laughing like a goddamn jackass in my house. Um, but no, like literally, this is what we're talking about. This is why this channel exists on you know crap and why we all started up. It's because this is bullshit, and this is, listen, people are lemmings, okay? The mass public are lemmings. They're not reading. No, mo most people don't read everything. They don't read anything. They walk by, you see a newspaper, and you see any kind of thing on your computer, a headline. You just look at what's in the bold print. Remember when we were all in high school? You remember yeah. you went through your history book? You didn't read the fucking book. You read those things in black print <laughs> at the top of each page, and that was usually what was on the test. My point is, is that... That's all people read. So then some jackass sees Segment Next, and they go, Uncharted 4 will have the best multiplayer ever. Somebody will say to somebody in school, on the street, at work, at GameStop, anywhere, they'll be like, hey, do you guys hear about Uncharted 4's multiplayer? Yeah, that shit's going to be the best. Really? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, I, oh, I read it somewhere. You didn't read shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's my whole point is these guys are full of shit, man. I swear to God. And this is this is just a, this is the tip of the iceberg. This is segment next. Who the fuck is segment next? But my point is this. No, nobody's ever heard of them, Blaze. But my point is IGN will take this and they're like, hey, 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 segment next got two million hits. We can get six million. Have Brian Fatboy Altano say something later on <laughs> tonight on the fix. You know what I mean? And he'll get up there with his fucking you know, what is with you know, God forgive me. What the hell's going on in California? What's with the styles? Look at Milan, Italy. Look at London. Look at New York City. Stop dressing like you're fucking out of the thrift shop, you motherfuckers. For crying out loud, I can't even watch that channel anymore. Everybody looks, everybody looks homeless and they're reporting the news. Listen, the one thing you can't... How do you think, how do you think somebody credible when they look like they just came out of a fucking garbage pail? I, I, I just don't understand these guys. They had the book bags on. They do. They oh, well, you know, no, no. Hold on, Blaze. Don't forget, their book bags are for when they transfer their PS4s from home to work because it's much more convenient <laughs> because it's in the shape of a parallelogram. <laughs> hey, ridiculous. Mooch. Like, okay, the, the, it is like obviously there there's some bias going on and and just you know little. yeah yeah just just a little you know just just yeah. a little outside <laughs> you know but. Uh, <laughs> Issue though, like there's so much bias with the PS4, but to me, it's just an expensive movie player. It's a movie yeah, I, player, that's all it is. I don't even use mine to play movies. Hell, I, I wish. Well, if I, I'm gonna burn no, it out, they're games or movies. That's the point out. I'm trying to make. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, exclusive. it's an expensive movie player. Man. Hey, when you think, hey, when you when you put it that way, dude, look, until dawn, nothing but QTEs and order, you know, order, the QTEs. order, QTEs, you got the Detroit uh, game. Yeah, Beyond Two Souls, that Detroit game, Heavy Rain. All these games are just heavy QTE based. And uh, I remember all the hell that, that Rise got for heavy QTEs. Yeah, and, uh, QTE. yeah I, I remember that, but you never heard any of the media outrage for QTEs on the order, which had way more, and you had to hit them where you died and you and you got sent back. Yeah, you know, with Rise yeah. with Rise, if you missed a thing or coordinating color, you just you broke up your chain or whatever, but it wasn't like a super uh, you know, it wasn't a super big deal where you had to go back and they made you fail apart or whatever. So I thought that that was that was actually pretty cool the way that they set that up. Do you guys think we're about due for like a Rise Two or a Dead Rising Four? 
Yeah. I mean, those are 2000. Oh, Capcom, you know, Capcom you know, Vancouver, they're definitely working on some, and I know it's Dead Rising 4. You know what yeah, I'm like? If they made Dead Rising 4, I would like them to make it more darker, make it more realistic, and give it like a, a dark story. Like, the, don't make a comical this time. I, and I, I think, they, I think they should have destructible environments and use the cloud. You know, yeah, make it like dark or something. Yeah. Do you think so, really? I mean, you want it darker? I would, I would like to see that, you know, like, make a different story. Like, it could be about espionage or something crazy, like the government spent chemical weapons or something. That's where the zombies come from. No, man, there's just something about shooting dildos at people that's fun. <laughs> I, I can't help it, you know what I mean? Like, I have a, had a yeah. good time with that game, man. Yeah, that game is crazy, man. I think I, that you do cool. another rise, though. That, that was one of the... Uh, the most underrated launch games I've ever played, honestly. Yeah. It was a fun game. Well, Blackie, that, it, that game was had to get hate, right, because of the way E3 showed it and people thought it was all QTEs. Nobody gave that game a chance. That was the first game I popped in my Xbox One when I got it, and I was like, holy mm-hmm. shit, this is amazing. You know what I mean? Like, okay, granted, it needed some variety or whatever, uh, maybe a little yeah. bit longer, but it was beautiful and it played really well. You know, mm-hmm. and it's like, and it's a launch game. Microsoft yeah. got their launch games out, so you can excuse some launch games for being uh, not not perfect, right? But then you look at Sony stuff, and they're still releasing stuff years into the cycle uh, that wouldn't even make good launch games. You know what I mean? Just yeah. look at like Drive Club. That game was delayed, and they're still throwing crap at that. You know, they're throwing you know whatever shit they. And how is the media? Hyping that goddamn game up still. Like, okay, they get motorcycles now, so let's talk about that nonstop. I think the PlayStation is 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 a really just a, it's a big asshole. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it is, man. Me at this, <laughs> me at this <laughs> point, I say the PlayStation brand is dead. At this point, like you, we have to say officially the PlayStation brand is dead. It's it's not what it was in the nineties. Yeah, I yeah. Do. If you think that shit, you're crazy. Like. There, there's so much missing, man. I, I'm, I'm thinking about so much as far as like the PS1 and PS2 days, and, and this just, where's the brand new God of War? Where's the Twisted Metal? Yeah, where's the this? It's kind of like something I've said before. Sony just does not take care of their franchises. SoCom, for example, and it was broken the whole time last generation. They, they no. had a really good opportunity to capitalize as far as having a good, solid multiplayer game that had been around for a long time and since the PlayStation 2 days. Yeah. And they just let it fucking come out broken and it was just horrible. And people and people have the fucking audacity to say, "Oh, you know, you, why don't you like this?" and you know, criticize you for not liking something that's obviously just overhyped. And I said it in one of my last videos. It is it's quickly becoming the most overhyped console in history. Like yeah. when you look at backwards compatibility in the Xbox, what they're doing, they're just they're just really not doing shit for the consumer. They're 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 resting on their laurels and they're chilling. They they can care less. They got your money, and Sony is laughing their asses off. They they've got to be somebody at Sony's got to be feeling good, man, because they they've got people full. They're getting they're getting some money. To help the, with their debt problem, but they ain't giving you shit in return, and you just that's you right, get yeah. it up. You yeah, go in the right. comment sections, write ten page articles hating on people. Fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> yo, yo. Well, one thing I'm gonna say though, PSX is this weekend, and I can tell you one thing: it's gonna be a multi-plat show. All we're gonna see indies. is indies, multi-plats. And that's was, it. More hey, was, VR was, bullshit, man. Was that a legit thing I saw with that? It was like they were showing Black Ops 3 on the little thing, and it was like Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I mean, so, so they're showing stuff that's already they out. They like, showed, you know, the map, uh, pack, the the map, map packs. packs yeah, yeah. The trailers for the map packs and all that kind of shit. That's horrible, man. Because they got the, the marketing deal with those, uh, those games, like yeah. Destiny. They may show something with Destiny, you never know. Well, Destiny well, 2 is coming out next year. Right. Uh, um, you know, oh like, God, man. Yeah. So for them to oh. actually have that, you know, as a promotion thing, you never know. We probably get a Destiny Two announced, which we're gonna we're gonna get to play anyway. So That's horrible, man. They gonna have Destiny. Uh, I probably. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna be playing that shit, man. I I thought about it, man, but the grind, man, it's just like grind, grind, grind. Well, here's man. the thing, you know. I, I you know, listen. I was the biggest hater of the vanilla Destiny. I'm I'm not a humongous fan of the Taken King Destiny, but I did start it up. I'm having a good time with it. Let me explain this much. Now, crap, here's the thing. The reason that I, I neglected to, and I left the Vanilla Destiny that from 2014 
was uh, the grind, like, like you just said. However, they have it now to where you can get up to the level 40, and then you got to get your light up to like level 310 or something at this point. You go in, you do your three. There's three. There's three or four things called daily missions. You go do those three or four things. They take about 35, 45 minutes. You do it with a couple buddies every day. It's kind of neat. You rank up. You keep moving on. Then when a new thing comes out, like a map, you know, the new maps and whatever, it's not that you know, the new missions that come out in the next three months, and they're supposedly free this time. It, 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 listen, here's the thing. It's 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 a it's a worm on a hook. Okay, it's no more. It's no less. It's it's as interesting as you want to make it. Uh, so I've got a good group of guys that I know in my personal life that play it. So I play. They 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 work with me. They're like, oh yeah, we're getting on. We're doing a raid. We're doing this. It's cool if you want to do it. Would I sit here and talk somebody into it? No. But if they take that, and I knew Destiny. You know, we all know this, right? We're all in the gaming community. We all keep our ear to the ground. We know Destiny 2 is coming out. We know it's going to be big. Let's just not kid ourselves. So with it being big, I didn't want to. Like, you, you just, don't, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't want to see the boat go by, and I was like standing on the pier waving, like "fuck you guys." So I was like, you know, I figured it, it is decent to get into. Does that mean I'm, I think you should crap? No, but it's not. The grind is not. Uh, you know, we say that the, the you know the grind is real. The grind yeah. is not as real as it used to be anymore. It's kind of they've made it a lot more simplistic. Yeah. The casual gamer yeah, I, can enjoy it. I got a seriously bad taste in my mouth from Destiny, man. Like it's... I understand. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people say uh, the same thing. Like the DLC, we kind of fixed everything. And I, and, and no offense, to anybody who likes the game, but I'm like, if you need DLC to fix your fucking game, fuck that shit. Right. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Well, you know what though? They they did. They attracted the players that they wanted. The people that wanted to invest a bunch of time. Um, you know, just grinding and shit like that. Like, like for me, I learned early on. I was expecting a Halo type story with an MMO type yeah, situation. Too, you know, I didn't get that. You know, they cut the story. They did this. They did that. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but they were like, "Hey, people are gonna like pick up these little cards and then go to Bungie.net and look up the fucking story <laughs> there." Like to me, that never made any sense. So like, I I didn't get it. But I just you know, at the end of the day. Um, you know, I think, uh, yeah, it just wasn't a great game. It wasn't what it was supposed to be. Yeah. If 343 would have made Destiny, it would have been amazing. (laughs) (laughs) I can't even imagine how good that game would be if 343 would have made that game. After Halo 5, that game would have been amazing. Yeah, Halo 5, man. That's uh, that's a game that I fucking love that game. But I wanted to talk about PSX real quick. What do you think? That, that, do you think there'll be anything huge there announced? I mean, I, I think last. What do you think they're going to announce? I am holding on tight because the minute it's released on Xbox One, I am waiting for exclusive rights for PlayStation to lock down Soccer Cars too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for. The, <laughs> I want the dev to come out. I want him to fucking chest bump Adam Fatboy Boys, and I want to see that on fucking Is he stage. Say 1080p glorious 60 frames per second. Console no, no. exclusive. Console exclusive. Sony. They're gonna get know. on. Uh, I think Ratchet and Clank. They're gonna focus on that one. And and SOCOM. I mean, not SOCOM. What the fuck did I just say? Not SOCOM. Uh, damn, man. Is I even feel it or something? No, they no. no. They're gonna they're gonna talk about you know I'm PS2 started. classics. I'm started, not PS2, so PS2 classics, man. They're gonna be in the store for you them. Oh, you have to buy them again. again. Yeah. Even though you probably <laughs> own them, you have to buy them again. I don't yeah, like. They might talk about the PS2 emulation, but and the media are gonna perceive that you know they're gonna look at they're gonna look at the whole thing as backwards compatibility. That's Dude, what it's gonna fact, be. Well, I'm sorry. Well, if I gotta say this, the fact that they're talking, they even mentioned backwards compatibility. Sony needs to be fucking sued. These games are being emulated. It, it's, it just disgusts me how they, they want to copy Microsoft whenever they're doing something good, even though they'll blatantly fucking say they don't give a fuck about it until they find out that it's good. And yeah, I don't know, man. Do it. It's really bad, dude. Like, get that shit out of here with the whole that PS2 backwards compatibility. Um, yeah, there's just there's there's way too many PS3 games that they're making people rent, that they're trying to remaster and they're selling. It, that, that's fucking absolutely nonsense, man. To me, that this is crazy. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen with a game of console. I know the show gonna suck. I would like to see like God of War four, maybe a new um Jack and Daxter, uh something like that, a new siphon filter, a new twisted metal. But what we're gonna see is we're just gonna see indie games. They're probably gonna talk about the VR. They might show a little bit of Uncharted, maybe a little more of the multiplayer. 
they might show a little more screenshots from the last Guardian, maybe like a clip or something, like of the bird. And then there's going to be stuff <laughs> the like possum. that. You, you think they're going to the show God, God of War 4? I mean, wouldn't that be more of an No, I, thought, I wish thing? they would. I yeah. would want them to, but they're not. Hey, I'd, I'd be mean, happy if they did. I don't think I don't know God of War. What do you think? 2018, 2019. Yeah. I hope I hope they have a next gen SOCOM, but you know I think this is gonna be the PS2 classic they're gonna release. Yeah, but we're just hoping. Like you should not have your hope ups at all, because so far what we should, saw saw is not but indie games. That's all we're gonna see. We we may see uh another remaster. You know what I'm saying? What, you, Maybe what the hell else is left to remaster? They've they remastered the whole Sword. goddamn library. They can still do Heavenly Sword and uh they can do Metal Gear Solid Four. I, I believe we're gonna see that one day. We're gonna see Metal Gear Solid Four. We're gonna see Heavenly Sword, and maybe uh, made a Motor Storm or something. Motor. Well, the team that did Motor Storm is the ones that did Drive Club, <laughs> yeah, and they, they yeah, they like uh, basically <laughs> have kind of like gone. Yeah, they're yeah. gone. They're, they're they're doing Drive Club as a quote unquote service. Oh, and they, they like they laid off most of the uh, most of the employees and things like that. I think that uh, it's kind of unfortunate. And oh, also, yeah. I think this week. No. Yeah, this week we're having uh, the Game Awards. Uh, what kind of presence do you think Microsoft is going to have there? Because we know Quantum Break is going to get some kind of play there. Um, but what what else do you think might might they show? Well, that's the only thing they've confirmed for now. But yeah. uh, I could what possibly they show see. Recall? Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to get to. They possibly show some recall footage. Recall, he said, we'll see more next year. I would love to see more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to see more this year. Oh, did Phil say that, next year? Yeah, he said that they're going to show uh, next year. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um, we may see like a CG uh, beta trailer for Gears of War 4 maybe. Uh, it won't be I don't gameplay. Know. It'll be a beta trailer. Like, I you know, think like, Microsoft should waste so much time on that because, you know, that that's very biased. So Microsoft shouldn't show too many big guns there. Well, you guys remember last year the big the big announcement was uh, that the Godzilla game was the big <laughs> was the big announcement. That was, I mean, it was a small show. Like, I don't know, is, are you guys even gonna watch it? I'm not gonna watch. it. I'm just gonna read about it because I think Quantum Break is gonna be the best thing that's there. That's that's gonna be the only relevant thing there anyway. Yeah, to, I mean, I'll, me. I'll watch I, it, but I I don't think I'm gonna be glued to it. I'll just like flip back and forth. Will it be on Twitch? It's going to be on Xbox YouTube, One, right? Or Xbox? Yeah, Xbox is hosting it, and uh, yeah, you can you can just watch it on. Is it yeah, on YouTube yeah. as well? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know, but I know you can watch it. Like, uh, I'm not yeah. watching it. Trash, man. Halo Five and Rise of the Tomb Raider is not up for Game of the Year. I'm not watching that thing. Wait, why do you guys think Rise of the Tomb Raider wasn't put up for Game of the Year? I think they're gonna um, put it up for uh, next year. Because a bunch of industry assholes, man. That's... Hey, let me, Blackie, let me ask you something. Do you think that? I mean, how 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 funny would this be if next year's awards they put it up for Game of the Year when it's on PS4? Yeah, are. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that, man. Because it's it's outrageous the the way that the PlayStation and everything about it right now, just the lack of everything, the fucking the whole PS2 backwards compatibility that they're saying when they're just emulating shit. I mean, it's it's a mess, man. I, I would not be surprised if the media did exactly what you just said. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's why I like the Xbox One because let, let me tell you it's one thing. It, this this is a fact, right? That you know we had Rocket Cars announced, practically announced. You know what I'm saying? Not officially, but it's been ready for the Xbox One. So we all know it's coming to the Xbox One. But you know, nobody gives a shit. The media are not talking about it. But as soon as Rise of the Tomb Raider drops on the PS4, the media are going to blow this shit up. You know, we all know that. It's a fact. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just one of them things. It probably get nominated, like Blaze said, you know, Game of the Year for that's next year. Man. Because it's on the PS4. That would be PS4's Game of the Year because it's going to destroy Uncharted. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, think about it. They're getting... Uh... You know, they're, you know, Xbox is going to have that incredible lineup. They came out today and said they're going to have the best lineup ever. Like, they've been saying that this whole year, that they're going to have the best lineup ever this year. And uh, and actually, they come out and said that next year is going to be even better. You know, oh, next year is going to be a body bag, you know what I'm saying? It would destroy what they had this year. You see a Thieves, Gears 4, Quantum Break, Crackdown, Scalebound, Halo Unannounced War. stuff. Halo Wars oh, 2. Halo 2. Record. Wow. Yeah, man. Record. See, I didn't even know that was the from the makers of Metroid. Oh like, my god. And, and Mega Man. 
does not want an Xbox. And you know, this this is an Xbox show, but uh, you know, the Wii U looks better than the PS4, like straight up right now with Twilight Princess and the fucking Xenoblade game. I just yeah. don't know where the fuck people are coming out with. Let's praise these PS3 games that are remastered. Like, come on, for real. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, you know what? Yeah, like the Wii U. Like I said, man, Splatoon and uh, uh, Mario Maker make that game, make that console worth owning this year. Where the PS4, I don't think there's anything uh, worthwhile owning in it this year that I've seen. I mean, maybe somebody will say uh, Bloodborne, but who the hell really cares about garbage. that? Yeah. That's a good game, and I want to play it, but that's just not enough. It's like Ratchet and Clank, like along with Bloodborne. Still is not enough to justify if, if a you want to see console that they, they can't snap stuff. It can't. It doesn't have an HDMI in. Like I have found such tremendous value in the Xbox One, and so many people have too. Like this, this console was truly next generation. You look at the new, the new mm -hmm. Xbox experience. Like when the fuck has a console changed like up that much wow. within two years? The 360 did real good. But this this is insane, and it's and it's going. It's just going to keep going, and it, it's just really cool that you know next year we just mentioned all those games, and it's real. They're not going to pull no fucking Last Guardian on us and oh tease us with some shit, and then Wolf he'll be like fifty five, and I'll be seventy something. Show <laughs> <laughs> us the shit later, and we, we can't see it because we're fucking half blind because we're so old. They hey, don't give to us, man. So it's I don't know, man. I'm happy with my Xbox. Like Blaze said a little bit ago, I've never ever been this happy in a console generation, and we're 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 a species that is very quick to forget. Okay, and I mean they just fucking dropped Halo on us, Tomb Raider, Forza, Gears of War, Rare Replay, and if you bought all these games, they'll put like fifty dollars in your account. It's just fucking cool, yeah. man. Yo, Listen, if, you guys Blackie, want, if, you guys, if you guys ever want to see what the facial expression of the word depressed is, go <laughs> to IGN right now and look up the DLC of the two assholes playing the game. They play through the DLC of Bloodborne. Just yeah. watch them play the game. I, I, I beg of you, please, just <laughs> click on it and watch them play I've the game, and you will things. see the word depressed just come up on their face. And they're sitting there, and she's like, I already beat this part, and it's two steps forward, three steps back, two steps forward. He's like, just stick with it, Lauren. Just stick with it. <laughs> one Pull slash, the, two steps back. <laughs> one step forward. Oh, I died. She's like, oh, I knew that from when I played this guy the first time. I know, Lauren. Use the bigger blade. And I just, <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm like, this could be the most. And you know what's great about what I'm saying right now? I'm not just pulling antics here and trying to be funny. Literally, every asshole from Polygon to every jackass that's a Sony YouTuber or, or the flip-floppers of the world out there, every one of these guys that was playing this thing on 75 fucking takes or 75 Let's Plays of Bloodborne was like, I swear this is the best game I've ever played. This is the best game I've ever played in my life. If you don't believe me, it's all documented on YouTube. This isn't me talking. This is all factual. You just go ahead and enjoy the 87,000 hours of Bloodborne on YouTube that's collected. And literally, they claim it's the best game they've ever touched. And when you watch these two people who are the Bloodborne experts at IGN that have played through it a few times, did the review, and you watch them, you can watch fun literally come out of your soul and drop down into the crevice of your shoes. There's nothing <laughs> happening. There's nothing happening. The paint on your walls is oozing as you're watching these two fuckers play this. So anyways, oh, like yeah. literally just check it out if you're bored and you want to know what the word depressed looks like on a human being's face. <laughs> Yo, no, let me just let me just round it off like this. Look, Bloodborne is basically Dark Souls 2.5. If you want to play a game like Bloodborne, that's even better than Bloodborne. Just wait for Dark Souls 3. It's coming Dark Souls 3. How are they getting these many games out like so quick, the same studio? I mean, they're doing... They did Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 Remaster, Bloodborne. They got, they got a, it's like Platinum Games. They have, they have like an A team and a B team. Or they okay. make half the game and they just put the rest of the stuff in the next one. Has anybody played the... Uh, um, you know... The uh, the Platinum Games Transformers game because uh, I saw it on sale and it looks good. It's amazing. But... I think it's fun. Oh, did game you play it? Awesome. Yeah, for cheap, it's a fun game. I like it. 
Yeah, I mean, it was on sale for like 20 bucks or something. What's the deal with it? What, what style game is it? It's, it's like, like a hack and slash. Yeah, it's like a hack and slash, like okay. beat em up kind of, uh, you know, Transformers game. I mean, it looks really good because it looks like the old 80s cartoon movie, which you know what I mean? Like, it's got that, and it's got the voice actors and stuff from the 80s cartoon. So, um, yeah, and they're actually making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game now as well. Oh, Platinum man, that's amazing. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to be like from the 80s or whatever. I don't really know, but I think that it's, uh, uh, you know, I think that it's uh, definitely it's, it's something to keep an eye on or whatever. Oh, I mean, Mooch, uh, your good friend Naomi Cow on on the Daily Fix apparently <laughs> she actually said that you know Rocket League on the Xbox One is a rumor. Even it's though we, uh, yeah, it's a rumor. Oh, According to her, it's a rumor. Okay. But well, like we well, saw, you know, factual it, evidence. It was listed. You know what I want to know is how come nobody has has talked to these people and bugged them the way that they bugged Microsoft yeah. about Tomb Raider or any of these other yeah, games. Where, you know what all mean? that pestering that we got for everything? I mean, everything and then some. Remember the pestering for Titanfall? Oh, oh when's yeah. Titanfall going to come to the PS4? Do you hate the PS4? <laughs> what do you think about the PS4 and Titanfall? You know what I mean? Like, yep. How many times did we rearrange this no, question? No, pestering Phil Spencer over Tomb Raider, man. They wouldn't even let him leave the building. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? It's... it's uh, it, it, it's insane how they could do so. The minute Xbox said anything, I mean, before we could even enjoy at two Gamescoms ago when they they, they announced the Tomb Raider deal, like there was, like, they were just swarming everybody. What's going on? What's going? They didn't even ask about the game. Yeah. What's the deal with the game? How about they? We're supposed to be gamers. Supposed to care about the game? No, no, no. When's Sony getting it? We don't care. When's Sony getting? It? Who gives a shit when yeah, the fuck well, Sony's exactly. getting? It? How he was acting? Yo, why don't they ask? Um... The guy from Platinum Games, because uh, you, I don't know if y'all know about this game, Nier Automata. The producer himself said that it's not decided if it's a PS4 exclusive. Where are the art articles on that? Yeah, Why don't they say? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he, he actually, yeah. The guy himself said that, you know, he, it's not decided. It's pretty obvious it's, it's a timed exclusive and it's coming to Xbox One, but I don't see no articles from the Kotakus, the Polygons, the IGNs. You know, of the world, I don't see any of that shit. And there you go, like Mooch, you know it, man. Like you know, there's further proof right there. The bias is real, man. Yeah, well, yeah, we've been preaching that for fucking ever about now. You know what I mean? I think that it's uh, it's pretty goddamn obvious. Hey, we've had over 200 people watching earlier, so uh, wow. hey, thank you, yeah, Shout thank you, guys, you, man. Where is getting um? It's getting close to E3 again. What do you think, Sony? You think they gonna have anything? Sony have anything for E3? Yeah, because you know it's starting to get, getting close to that time again. I I think they gonna pull another. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody somebody pop back in. I I just <laughs> I told you I'd be back if I had an opportunity because I I wanted to say one more thing and I completely forgot about it. Um. I really wanted to say thanks to Tim Dog, the Mooch, and Iron Wolf for having my back last night. There was so much hate last night, and I think they took the brunt of some of it, and I really do appreciate it. Those guys I are really like hate shields, man. Yeah. Like, they are. Like the, the, You know what? Like I'll be honest with you. I was getting a shit ton of hate for the longest time, and then Mooch started his channel, and then they forget all about me. So, yeah, it was like, like you know. Was, Do what I can. Yeah, <laughs> like Mooch is like, hey, give me some of that hate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell, he he was... <laughs> Well, he was getting all those uh those Twitter like you know because they put your fucking name in there uh, in the description or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's classic. But this shit, is the yeah. thing, time for princess. When you associate with everybody on this panel, including Next Gen Seven Twenty, you're gonna get that on a regular. Yeah. Oh, the minute you're like on Crap Gamer podcast or whatever, man, you're that's it. You're. It's it's like it's like a baggage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, the good news is you'll you'll get some subscribers out of the deal, but the bad news is you're you're now considered Xbot or yeah, uh, whatever the hell. Well, no, since I've been on the show, I've I, in a short time I got like uh, I think it was 13 or 15 more subscribers. That's right. That's the power of the Xbot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, people, look. This is what happens, right? You have a good channel. I've, I've uh, already you, gotten. You you'll get your point across. Like what you do is you're you're quick and to the point with your videos. Right, you know what I mean. And I just started my channel. I got 522 subscribers already in a, in in what a month, if that. Nice already. That's real good. Yep, and I also wanted to say one thing. Fuck that 
soccer cars. They can keep it. <laughs> Nobody wants that shit. I'm sorry. Nobody wants that. I wanted to say that before, and I forgot because somebody <laughs> tapped me, came in my came in the room and tapped me, and they needed me for something, and I forgot to say it. So I wanted to just say yeah. they can keep it. Nobody yeah, wants that crap. That <laughs> The only reason why I wanted it is so I can whoop some ass from uh, the people that challenged me and Mooch. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to play. Yeah. Really you know, I just want to ask everybody on this panel, do you think that game should be free with games of gold? Well, here's the thing, right? Yeah. It's not going to be free, but it, it should, should be. be. Um, and then they're going to go, oh, it sold much better on PS4. or you know. Of course, because we have games. They have nothing else to play. Of course they're going to buy it. No, but that's all they had, and they got it for free for a whole month. You know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously, there's gonna be more people in the PSO playing it because they had it for free. Yeah, man. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm with I'm with Titanfall Princess. We got fucking Halo for multiplayer. Like, I, it seems cool, but I, I bought this console for the AAA exclusive games that are gonna be around for a long time. So Halo, Gears of War, Forza. I, I would be on the PlayStation if they had SOCOM, Twisted Metal, and Warhawk, but they fucking don't. And I don't know. I, I like to go with the exclusives, so... Timefall Princess, all that game is, is Micro Machines with a soccer ball. That's all yeah, it that's is. That, man. I, Dude, Forza Motorsport was doing soccer balls, playing that, like, soccer stuff years ago. Yeah, and, even, you I know, know what I mean? Like, Forza, man. Oh, and by the way, what's up, Blackie and Blazing Phoenix? Sorry, I didn't get your names in there either. No problem. <laughs> it's the best thing about, Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, it is. I mean, okay, so I, I guess I'm going to wrap it up because I know everybody wants to get back to game. And, um, anything you guys want to close with? Oh, yeah, this, I just like to say for, uh, for Titanfall Princess, be careful all the weirdos and stuff in the Xbox community because there's a lot of fake Xbox YouTubers too. So watch out for them and watch out for the crazy Sony fans. Like, they're sending you gay porn and mutilated <laughs> animals and them butt naked next to a PlayStation and crazy stuff. Does anybody try, <laughs> anybody try to send me anything? They, they, they try to send me anything crazy like that, they'll be blocked immediately. Yeah. Nobody needs that crap. Oh, I, I'll, just, right. I'll just block their minds. I've, I've got, I've got over a thousand blocks, so yeah, you <laughs> I, yeah. hey, I just block them, you know. I do, I do. I just, I, I throw up my Dukembe Mutombo uh, thing, and I'm like, to, get blocked. I've listened to enough to, uh, of you guys, you know, to know, you know, don't pay attention. There's a lot of fake people out there, you know. I've listened to a, a, a lot of, you know, podcasts over the last, you know, couple of years, so I know, you know, what's out there. And, I, you know, I, I take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. That's Man, what you do. You just take it with a grain of salt. We ain't saying no names, but there's a lot of fake Xbox YouTubers. Anchorman, yeah. <clears throat> Arsenal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's gonna be a whole lot of them. There's gonna be a whole lot of them trying oh, to hell of you. Man. He's a hell of guy tonight, Kids. He's a hell of guy tonight, Kids. Kids news. Kids news. He's a hell of tonight, show guys. It's the Anchorman. Today's news. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's the Virgin Man here. <laughs> Nah, I'm going to say it like Wolf said, man. He he never recovered from the Virgin, man, dude. He said that shit one time. His, his channel's been done ever since, man. That's, that's <laughs> Yo, Blaze, man. You, 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 boy, you know how to end careers, boy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? That one video you made, man, it just, just killed his channel, man. Oh. man. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Uh, we'll catch you guys. Ne- <laughs> we'll catch you guys next week, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, everybody. Make sure you guys subscribe to Blackie Lebowski, Blazing Phoenix, Iron Wolf, Titanfall Princess, and the Mooch, who's Amen. closing in on three thousand subscribers already. So very cool. I appreciate it. Congratulations, man. Thank yep. you. Thanks to all you guys for the support too. I appreciate and we'll, it. And we'll catch you guys next week, man. Game on. Keep Peace. it Xbox. Keep it Xbox and.